Welcome to Impact Farming, where we introduce you to the people and ideas that will have a massive impact on your farming operation. Brought to you by Farm Marketer. Sit down, start the engine, and let's roll with today's show. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Impact Farming Show. Today, we have Denise Robertson from Farm Management Canada. Denise, how are you? I'm great. It's a sunny day here in Ottawa today, so. Excellent. We're so happy to have you on the show. Denise is the conference manager for Farm Management Canada, and we are going to be talking about their upcoming event that's coming up very soon. Very soon, yeah. 17 days. <laughs> oh my goodness. And by yeah. the time this airs, it'll be even closer, right? Yeah. 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 So yeah. it is the 2022 Egg Excellence or Egg X for short event. So before we dive in and talk about all the exciting details, do you just want to talk about Farm Management Canada? Share a little bit about the organization and your role. Yeah, of course. So Farm Management Canada is a national organization, and we are dedicated to the development um, and delivery of resources, information, tools to support to support farm business success. Um, so we're a champion of farm business management. We connect industry partners. We facilitate learning opportunities, and we put provide really valuable resources um, to farmers across the country. We have tons of learning events. We obviously have our annual conference, AgEx. Um, we also host a ton of workshops, webinars, obviously a lot more webinars lately, but trying to get back to more in-person stuff. Um, and we also have a national resource center, which provides resources to farmers across the country. Um, and they're categorized by kind of different subjects and whatnot. So we kind of do a lot in the space of learning and try to make sure that we're facilitating facilitating that in different ways. Um, we've been around for almost 30 years. This year, we're actually having our 30th anniversary banquet. Um, so we've been around since 1992, which is super exciting. Um, and myself, I've been with uh, Farm Management Canada since 2018. So it's almost been five years, which is really crazy to think about. Um, I've led our mental health research report, um, as well as our uh, mental health workshop series that we hosted just before COVID hit, which I think was really great timing, actually. Um, I also ran the 2020 conference. Um, it was the first one virtual. Obviously, you know, everyone was going online uh, for the events that year. So it was a big learning opportunity to figure out how to do that because no one had really done it yet. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to be leading the charge this year, but for hybrid, but being back in person as well, which will be really exciting. Nice. I have had Heather Watson on the mm -hmm. show many times, and I think Matthew, and now yes. it's nice to have another face. And it's great to see the person behind the events that you guys put on. So mm -hmm. that being said, let's talk about this year's event. Do you want to share more do you want to share more about AgX and the mission of the event? And then mm -hmm. maybe get into a little more of the details, the theme of this year's event. For sure. Yeah. So we created AgX to have a place to exchange expertise and insights. Um, we found there wasn't really that, that forum for folks to really come together and, and talk about business management. Um, we welcome literally anyone in the industry. So advisors, academia, Various organizations, private, government, like it's for everybody and it's always for everybody. And we find we make sure our sessions and our panels are really geared towards everyone and everyone can find, you know, their their own thing that they identify with as much as possible at the conference. Love it. Yeah. So this year's theme is called Reaching New Heights. Um, so obviously every year we have a different theme in that this year's. Um, so it's a celebration of the opportunities ahead for Canadian agriculture and acknowledging and embracing the farm business management practices that provide the foundation for success. 
Um, so this year we're heading to the Rockies, which is super exciting. We're going to be in Canmore. Um, so the dates are November 22nd to 24th, and we're at the Coast Canmore Hotel. We actually went and scouted this uh, location in um, 2019 for the 2020 conference. And every year we've pushed the contract and we're like, we're really committed to coming back out here because it's such a beautiful town. Um, so we're really happy to finally be coming out and seeing the, the, all of it through. So. Isn't that a big relief? I know yeah. so many of the organizations we work with, so many of the events that I attend, it's like, okay, well, we're on hold and we're virtual for this year. And mm-hmm. then that, then the next year, and then maybe even a third year. And now yeah. it's so nice to see that everybody right about now is back to in person. So yeah. you guys must be so excited. Yeah. And I think it helps being at the end of the year too. It just, we were able, you know, COVID definitely hit at the beginning of the year. So seeing all of it through, like we're almost coming into three years of this. So it's really nice to be able to get back in person, get back to normal. And yeah, you can't replicate a conference online to its full extent. So we know the value of being in person. So we're really excited for that. Yeah. You know, the learning at all of the events that I go to, I've attended AGX, like it is priceless, the learning mm-hmm. there. Yeah. But with all the technology, us being a digital platform, over all the years, they're like, internet's going to replace shows and events. And don't get me wrong, internet's my platform. Mm-hmm. And I believe in it fully. But there is nothing like an in-person event. I don't Absolutely. think we'll ever be able to do away with our need for live connection, right? In-person yeah. connection. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We tried some creative ways to, to have that kind of interaction and networking online the past few years, but yeah, it's just not the same. You can't replicate it. You can't replicate the hugs and the handshakes, right? You can introductions and everything. And so many people, so many people did amazing events like you guys online, but all of the stuff and getting out of the office, getting off mm-hmm. the farm, eating different yeah. foods, staying in a hotel. Yeah. Like it goes on it's and a whole on. experience. Yeah, it's an experience. Exactly. That sums it up. Perfect. Yeah. So on the topic of experience, why don't we talk about some of the highlights of the event, the lineup? I know you have a lot of speakers, a lot of workshops, and you probably can't cover them all. Do you want to just highlight a few so people in the audience know what to expect? Yeah, of course. Um, so we're actually starting our conference on the 22nd. Um, and this is a perfect example of something you'd never be able to replicate online is we're uh, doing a farm tour. So we're heading to Hilton Venture Farms. Um, and then Origin Malting and Brewing. So Origin is one of the only craft brewers in Canada that malt their own barley on their own family farm. Um, so we're heading to, they're in Strathmore, Alberta. So just about an hour east of uh, Calgary. Um, so we're heading there to visit their farm for an hour or two. And then we're heading to their brewery for some lunch, some beers and doing a brewery tour and then heading uh, back to Canmore. So that's going to be a really exciting kind of, introduction into I guess 2022 so that'll be fun yeah um so as you said I can't really cover all of our sessions um the full agenda is on our website at excellenceconference.ca but yeah I'll kind of go over a few of them so our first keynote of the day his name is Michael Langmeyer and he's from Purdue University which is in the states so yeah he's uh coming up to Canada to join us Um, And his session is called Optimizing Your Growth Potential. So that's going to be a super exciting um, session. He'll kind of discuss about 10 questions that need to be addressed when examining challenges and opportunities associated with farm growth. So it's going to be super interactive and obviously a really different perspective um, from some of the folks that we hear from. Michael's great. I've had him on our show a few times. Yeah, Yeah, We're in for a treat with him. Yeah. Um, and then after that, we have Sean Haney from Real Agriculture. He's going to be filming his his show, Reg, uh, Real Egg Radio Live. So the show will be live on nice. our page. Sean's awesome. Yeah. It's a small industry. We all know each other. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Good. 
Um, another really cool aspect we have kind of smack dab in the middle of day one is called our Farm Business Management Resource Showcase. So it's basically, we call it like our cross-country speed learnings. So attendees will pick a table, um, about 15 to 20 organizations will be there, and you just get to learn and talk to these organizations for 15 minutes. They get to kind of share the programs and resources, tools that they have available. Um, so every 15 minutes, we'll ding a little bell and everyone will rotate. So you'll get to kind of meet and greet with four different organizations of your choosing. Yeah, so that's a really fun interactive way to learn about different organizations yeah. and not have a full session from them. So that's great. Nice. Nice. Um, we have Stuart uh, Person after lunch from MMP, who's our title sponsor. Um, so his session is how to reduce financial stress and improve your confidence and mental health in the process. Mm. I know there'll be lots of goodies um, coming out of his. Uh -huh. um, after that, we have four concurrent workshops. So we have these workshops on day one and day two. So you kind of get to... Uh, pick and choose each day which one you go to. So it allows you to see one workshop on day one and one on day two. So the workshops that we have, one is with leadership, M&P, BMO, and then our own Matthew Lapari of Farm Management Canada. So there'll be four there that you get to choose from. Um, and then to end that day, we have a session um, called BC Floods One Year Later. So this panel is made up of uh, Meg Reynolds from Do More, Wendy Bennett from Egg Safe BC, and a farmer from Abbotsford named Jimmy Meyer. Um, so they're going to obviously be talking about kind of what happened last year in BC, all the different um, climate disasters that they had in the province, and then just kind of how to cope with it a year later and how the industry can best support farmers in those scenarios. So, wow. Yeah. Right on. And then at the end of day one, we have some really cool networking opportunities. So we have a student networking event, which is for students only, which we actually have a lot of attending this year. So it will be really fun. And it's a cool interactive um, session to get, you know, those jitters out and really learn how to and practice their networking skills. And then in the evening, we have our 30th anniversary banquet, which I mentioned, um, and also our Wilson Lurie Award. So that'll be a really fun time just to really celebrate Farm Management Canada and what it's been over the last 30 years. So um, that'll be a nice way to cap off day one. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and then, sorry. Oh, I was going to say, I know there's more. Do you want to add more? I didn't yeah. want to cut yeah. you off there. Go ahead. This no is worries. I, we love just, that, I love that you're doing a play by play. And then, yeah, day two is also very exciting. There's lots on the go. So uh, we have a speaker from Decisive Farming by TELUS Agriculture, which we're really excited to bring in because TELUS is obviously in this space and there's so much to learn from them. So the speaker's name is Daniel Portella and a session is called, What is IoT and what does it mean for my farm? Okay. So obviously, I think a lot of people look at that name and they're like, what is IoT? Um, so it's called Internet of Things and he's going to uh, discuss opportunities that IoT can enable um, farmers at the forefront of digital agriculture revolution. So it's going to be a really different session that we're not always so used to providing, but I think it'll be a really great learning opportunity. Perfect. Um, another panel that we have on day two um, is being led by the Canadian Canola Growers Association. So it's taking it off the farm, ideas and connecting to big policy issues. So it'll be, you know, uh, a pretty good discussion just about how to get involved in poli policy discussions and help influence some of those decisions. Um, and then to round off the rest of the day, we have Edward Brachinski from Cargo Market Sense, um, as well as Maggie Van Camp and Eric Kohlberg from BMO talking about conquering the transition mountain. Um, and then to end off the day, we have Jose Lemoyne, who's Baxwath's new CEO, um, and her session is called Why You Need Strategy in 2023, even if you got this far with that one. So another full day in, in day two. Uh, we end a little bit earlier, um, but it's still it's still a full day, chock full of lots of content. Awesome. Thank you for the play by play. That's great. And I know you're going to share more about registration where everybody can check it out later. Absolutely. Before we go there, I know you talked about the theme, all the details, the speakers, the topics. What do you hope that attendees take away this year? What's, what's your main takeaway for farmers, students, everybody that's attending? 
Yeah, I think I think that's definitely different for every person that attends, right? So we want yeah. attendees to really take away something that they've been wondering, something that they've been questioning, wondering about. We want to give them answers to the things that they either don't know yet or things that they've been curious about. Yeah. Obviously, there's like conquering the transition mountain. We know that's always a really you know, difficult road to take. And there's so many questions around it and just like financial stress and mental health and like BC floods one year later, like all of those things, I think, depending on the person and the perspective, I think there's so many chances for like really big takeaways and really big learning opportunities. Um, yeah, like new, like digital agriculture, like there's so many learning opportunities just depending on who you are. Right. Yeah. Um, we also really want people to take away some new connections. Obviously, as we talked about, we've been doing online learning for the past few years. And as much as it's been filling that void and, and creating learning opportunities, now we finally have the chance to, to meet back in person, make some new connections um, and being able to like, yeah, talk face to face. Like you said, shake hands, do some introductions. Like we want to facilitate that again. Um love it just can't replicate that kind of stuff online yeah that probably wasn't a fair question because there'll be so (laughs) many takeaways and you Mm -hmm. I want to touch on one thing that we didn't talk about before I didn't even think about it and I miss from live events is the creativity and the new ideas I get you Mm -hmm. hear all and of course I mean that's a no-brainer you're like yeah that's why you go to events but you hear a speaker or you talk to another farmer or mainly just the fact that you're away from your day to day and it's something different. And for me, when I go to conferences, that is when I get my most creative ideas for my business. Mm-hmm. So you yeah. just you don't, you're out of the day to day where you always do the same thing, always tend to think the same way. Here you mm-hmm. come, you see so many people, all this yeah. energy, all these new ideas. Every time I go to events, literally a session ends or the day ends and I'm writing notes based mm-hmm. on that and different ideas I get. It's something, yeah. one of I would say one of the most priceless things I get from events too. Yeah. And you definitely like, I find you, yeah, leave the day or leave the conference with like a renewed like excitement for mm. stuff too, because you're like, wow, all these people in the room talking about these new great ideas. Like I feel empowered to go back to my farm or my organization and Im- implement some of these things. Like you have that renewed sense of like, I can do this. We can make big changes. We can do all of that. So yeah, very much a like feeling in the room that you mm. can online, like you leave, like, yeah, even I leave so empowered after this. Like I, I, I love being in person. I think it's, it's super important, super special, that feeling that yeah. you get. After you leave. And even, I mean, we could probably talk about this for hours. I actually haven't been doing a lot of in-person events like most of the people. And I haven't mm-hmm. gone back to one just yet. But thinking about the people in your audience that are coming from the farm and you talk about farm transition and some of the things I've seen at the AgEx event, you go there too. Sometimes when you're in the silo of your farm mm-hmm. yeah. or your business or your class, you get to be the, oh, okay, it's only us, only us mm-hmm. on our farm that deal with farm transition problems. Then you go to an event like this, you talk to another farmer and you're like, oh, wow, we're not the yeah, only not one the only going. One. Yeah. yeah. And that feeling like another one that's priceless, right? Mm-hmm. You sit there and you're like, oh, we're not alone. This is cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, yeah, totally. you could go on and on about in person. I'm sure mm-hmm. you are over the moon. On that note, unless you have anything else you want to add onto what we chat about, how can people register for in-person, online? Talk a little bit more about that. Yeah. So our website is called agexcellenceconference.ca. So on there is our full agenda, all of our speakers. You can read their bios, get to know them, get to know our agenda, and then obviously also register. So we have a few different options right now, but our best one is our BOGO sale. So right now we're having a BOGO sale. It runs for until the end of next week. So I'm sure folks will still be able to capitalize on that. But it's basically buy one, get one free um, for our tickets, both in person and online. So we're having 
obviously our, for our full conference in person, but if you also want to tune in online, that's, um, you're able to do that as well. And then you can purchase either a full ticket, which allows you to tune into any of our sessions live, or you can get a free virtual ticket, which allows you to visit our resource center, our on-demand center, which has tons of really great videos. And you'll be able to see our keynote speaker, Michael Langmeyer, live. So there are a few different levels of tickets, but everything is easily explained on that website that I mentioned. Um, and yeah, everything's there. Perfect. If you guys are watching this, we will include all the registration details, the links to the website in the show notes. So you can go to Farm Marketer and then click on Impact Farming. You'll find the episodes, click on that show page. And then below the episode and all the details, you'll find all the event information in there. So that's a quick link or just go straight to the website that Denise mentioned. I am super excited for you. I hope you guys have such a great event. It's Thank you so very fun. much. We've heard that there's lots of snow out West. So we're, we're excited to, to be in the Rockies with the mountains, mm. yeah, mountains. Like it'll, it'll be a really, really great venue to be at town to be in. I think it'll, I think it'll be fun. Perfect. Well, Denise, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. And you guys in the audience, if you're watching this, don't waste a lot of time because this episode is airing shortly before the event happens. So make sure to go register for online, get there in person if you can. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you on next week's episode. Bye, guys. You've been listening to Impact Farming. For more great episodes and articles designed to help you manage and grow your farming operation, head on over to farmmarketer.com. Don't forget to sign up while you're there. We will see you on the next episode.